Alrighty, we are on uh, the home stretch, and uh, this is going to be the last part of the Reamaze platform demo. And uh, thank you for you know taking all the time out of your day to watch my videos. Um, now, this last part, I want to talk about one specific feature, and that's going to be under Reamaze automation. It's called Intense. Okay, um, Intense uh, can be thought of as um, customer sentiments. So it's a way for you to train Reamaze to understand certain categories or classifications of customer messages. Every business will have different ways of categorizing customer messages, whether that's you know returns or exchanges. Um, if you maybe sell uh, water bottles, it, it can be a leaking water bottle. Um, if you sell plants, it could be you know a, a particular plant um, that died before its prime, right? Um, if you sell clothes, maybe it's about something that doesn't fit properly. Whatever that may be. Uh, you'll have a set of uh, categories or classifications for your customer messages. And you want to train Reamaze to understand these types of messages because you want to add more automation in your workflows. Okay, And the, automation doesn't always mean um, that things are going to go really well. But what you want to do is allow automation to intelligently tell you if something needs urgent re attention or to surface something that's really important, right? Now, if you train something really well and you are very disciplined about automation, you can certainly make, um, you can certainly generate more value out of it uh, by allowing Reamaze to even respond to these customer, these types of customer questions automatically. And that's what, that's what Intense is designed to do, okay? Uh, when you first create your Reamaze account, this menu will be empty, right? There will be some instructions telling you about what intents are and what they're designed to do. Um, I have some here that are, are pre-trained already, right? So uh, let's take a look at some of them. So the first one says upset customer. So uh, when we look at the, when we think of each intent, you have to think about, okay, what messages will customers send me that are related to them being upset? What types of messages uh, do I receive that are about returns? What types of messages do I receive that are about order statuses? Or, you know, which types of messages do I receive uh, that really illustrate the need to cancel a subscription, right? Or are they having account login questions? Or is this question about returns, right? So start to classify your uh, support messages this way. Um, let's take a look at this one. So account login questions. There are 11 trained messages here. So it's not quite trained because this is a demo account. And we recommend at least 30 trained messages for an intent to be uh, intelligent enough to use right, on a day-to-day on -day basis. Um, so let's look at the review log here. So there's learning and then there's review. Um, so let's look at review. So here are some trained messages. I have an account problem. Where do I find my account password? Uh, I can't log into my account anymore, or I need help with my account. Um, and then here's this one. How do I reset my account login? I'm having trouble logging in. So all of those messages were related to account login questions. There are some here that are falsely categorized or incorrectly categorized. So talk to a human, obviously not account related. What is your shipping policy? Obviously not account related, right? These are in here to try to throw off the logic a bit more, um, but you don't have to add them in here. We recommend just going, you know, uh, keeping it clean, right? Just, uh, you know, insert uh, training messages that are related to that specific categorization or classification, okay? Um, you can, if you move over back to the learning tab, you can continue to add questions to the training log. Um, let's say another way to ask this question is, um, where is my account? Um, I can't find it, right? So that's that's an account login related question. So you can add this message to the training log, and Reamaze will kind of recrunch the data and retrain kind of the 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 algorithms that's behind this specific intent. Okay, uh, but before we add it though, we might want to test how how confident Reamaze is that this will be a match. Okay, so if we click test message confidence. Reamaze will tell you that it's 77% confident that this particular message, based on historical training, is related to account login questions. Okay, um, so then you, you can feel pretty confident about adding that into the training log. 
Another way to add messages or more training data is to actually go through your existing support channels. So you can look through your emails or your chats, right? So let's look at Daffy support and we'll look at um, just the chat origin and we'll look for the word account. Okay, again, this is a demo account, so it's not going to be very accurate. Um, so you can go through all of these that Reumace has found. Sales events, nope, this is not related. Tell me more, not related. Reumace can also tell you, you know, it's, there's 0% confidence that this is related. Um, again, this matches because there's some, you know, incorrect data in there. So this one says 16%, but it is not related, right? I have a question about shipping. Nope, not related. So you can go through these um, on a weekly basis and kind of cherry pick the ones that, are, that really are account login related. The more you train, the more intelligent this becomes. Uh, the more you train, the more data we have to work on natural language uh, understanding, right? Um, so when you next when the, the next time you encounter a customer question that's related to account logins and the customer is asking it in another way reemace can kind of um, apply that logic to understand the question um let's, let's just try something else um uh, account login related uh, where is our how do i reset my account login right I can't uh, find it anywhere. Please help me access my account again. Right? Let's see. Test this, test this message confidence. 88%. That's pretty good. Okay. So now, you know, this requires obviously discipline and and, and uh, resources, right? To to set up. So it is quite a big feature, um, but it is very helpful. And the way you can use Intense today is through workflows. So if we go to workflows. Okay, and we click and create a new workflow. We can basically tell Reamaze that you know when a new mes when a new customer message arrives, where uh, the intent name, uh, account login questions, is matched greater than eighty percent. So that means Reamaze is at least 80 percent 80, 80 confident that this particular customer message matches the account login intent then you can have Reamaze do certain things. You can respond to the conversation uh, with instructions on how to maybe reset their password, right? You can also assign this conversation over to another team member or department, right? Whatever you want to do, um, you don't, you no longer have to rely just on keywords, right? Now you've trained Reamaze to understand certain types of messages and then extrapolate that into other potential ways that, a, that customers may ask that question, right? So it's extremely powerful. Uh, the next evolution for Reamaze Intense is to allow you to use this in your custom chatbots. So we talked about chatbots earlier, right? If we look at chatbots again, um, you know, if here, and let's look at the sales bot again. So if we look here, the only entry point uh, where a chatbot or a custom chatbot can start is at the beginning of a queue, right? Those queues are those automated messages that you set up here, right? Um, well, what if we were able to expand the custom chatbots capabilities to start from an intent. So as soon as we detect an intent uh, or a question about account logins, then you can you, then you can kick off a custom chatbot that will help guide the customer through a series of questions, a, a series of steps that will help them reset their account. Right? So you can imagine the use the use cases for intents and chatbots together. So one example I can think of uh, off the top of my head is let's say someone is interested in um, buying a suit, right? And they need to be sized uh, in order to, to, uh, to have it custom made for them. Well, someone might message you something like, um, I need a, a custom tailored suit. As soon as you have an intent that has detected someone asking to be, you know, to, to talk to someone, um, to, uh, to talk to someone about sizing, then you can kick off a custom chatbot that asks, you know, hey, do you have, do you need us to, you know, give you a call, or would you like to come into our store? If they click, I would like to come into your store, then you can ask them, well, okay, where are you located? And they can select from a menu, say, you know, I'm located in in, in New York, right? And you can, and then you can tell them, you know, hey, if you're in, if you're in New York, um, we have these stores that you can pick from, uh, and then you can take them through a scheduling. So. The future of Intense, or the next evolution for Intense, is going to be used in conjunction with custom chatbots. Right, so with anybody that is starting off with Reamaze, we highly recommend 
um, you just start start with intense. Um, you might not have a lot of time, you might not have a lot of resources, or maybe you don't even have a lot of ideas on what you want to do. But start with a few basic ones like exchanges or returns or you know um, order cancellations, right? Um, and you can start to train ReMAs and have a better understanding for how machine learning and natural language understanding works in ReMAs. Once you have that, and once we build in a new kind of uh, initiation point for ReMAs custom chatbots, you'll be able to use that right out of the box. Okay, um, so. I don't know how long this has been, maybe an hour or an hour and a half. Um, but in any case, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, I know it's, it's a, you know, Reamaze is, is a pretty complex platform, um, but we've designed it in a way that's one, very flexible, and two, hopefully easy to use, right? Whether or not you want to set up just the inbox for, you know, managing your emails, right? Or getting advanced, as advanced as using custom chatbots that work with workflows and then, you know, you know getting it routed to the right agents for, for, for chatting with, with people. Um, you can, you know, uh, take it step by step. Um, we're always here to help. So if you have any questions, definitely reach out to us. Um, if you have your ReMAs account already, the best way to get in touch with us is to use a little help icon and just start a new conversation. We never want you to be overwhelmed, so please don't be. I know with every new help desk, um, it requires a lot of research, uh, a lot of learning, right? Uh, we're in the process of getting, you know, a lot of training guides out there, um, some pre-created stuff so you guys can just turn on or off uh, whether or not you need them. Um, we are, uh, you know, we're, we're not Zendesk. Uh, you, you can feel free to talk to us and we will definitely chat back. Uh, we love talking to our customers. We value your feedback. Um, it's what makes us better as a platform. And we hope to see you around. Um, definitely sign up for a free trial. Click on, you know, try ReMAs now, or you can find us in the Shopify or BigCommerce App Store or, or uh, WordPress, right? Uh, we do have a plugin for that as well. Um, so I think I will end the videos here. And again, thank you for your time. And my name is Marvin. I am the head of customer experience here at ReMAs. And uh, I hope to see you around soon. Thank you.